Here is a short demonstration how to use the P-code card in the Classic 99 system. You can download the Classic 99 at this website, harmlesslion.com. Uh, here is the download link. So uh, the latest version we currently use is V380. If you don't know what the P-code card system is, you can go to this website. Uh, this is at uh, mainbyte.com. Um, the P-code card is an UCSD P system. It's kind of a high level language which uh, translates uh, Pascal Basic into a pseudocode or a P-code. It is a uh, card which has an on and off switch which needs to be simulated in the emulator as well. And this card is typically installed in the real system in a peripheral expansion box. More information about this card, you can find it at ftpwhtdeck.com where there is a PDF manual about this card and how to configure it and how to install it. And there is more information online as well. Now let's go back to the emulator. So I started the emulator here uh, already, um, but I close it first and I go to the directory where I actually started the, the file. So I downloaded this file, this whole zip file from the harmlesslion.website, unzipped it, and then um, I started it from here. Now if you start it, it will create an, a .ini file. If you edit the .ini file, like, like this, we actually need to change um, the disk parts. Okay, we have not set up that properly here, so I will show you how to do that. So I'm opening the system here. We go to the disks. I select disk one. Uh, currently it is a file in a directory, but we require an image disk format because that's how my P code card disk uh, has been configured or set up. I go to the directory. Here are those three disks which belong to the P code card system. I select the editor fowler for disk one. I do one for disk two as well. Assembler linker. And I can do one for this three as well. Compiler. Okay, so now the disk has been set up. Still, I need to close it for uh, the first time and edit this ini file. Okay, so we have to go to the disk. So here we see those disks we just uh, set up. But the type, we need to change it in type 3 for this disk. And that has to do with the controller. So it makes use of an, um, a TI disk controller. So I do the same here. Oh, sorry, this 2, type 3. Okay, and then for this 3, also type 3. File, save. All right, open it again. So now um, we have the disk enabled. The second thing we need to do is to select the cartridge. So we go to the cartridge apps and here to the P code card. So we select this one. Now the system is rebooting and downloading the uh, P code card. Till it takes some time. Here it is. Okay, so um, you can press the question mark, then we can go to the other um, menu options. So you can press the question mark on your keyboard. So here we see all the other options. So we're back at edit. So let's select E for edit. Now it is going to read from disk one, the editor fowler, uh, the system.editor. Here it is, we can press enter. And we're in the edit menu. If I press Q, I go back, E, exit, and we're back in this uh, menu. Now, it is possible in this emulator, under options, to do uh, the CPU throttling, and maybe you change it to a CPU overdrive, then everything works a little bit faster. So this was a quick um, overview, how to set up the P-code card system in the Classic 99.